That one right there, I've just always loved that one. Brandon Love takes me on a tour of this memorial, holding some of his most prized possessions. While there aren't many, there's a reason they're all memorable. Those are the only ones I have. Can't take any more new ones. In 2016, Brandon lost his two-year-old son Bentley in a drowning. I left that early morning for work. Brandon says the adults in the house were sleeping when the older kids got out, with the little ones not far behind. He says his son and his nephew managed to climb into a neighbor's backyard pool using a ladder that had been left inside. Then the unthinkable happened. Neither of the two survived. It's not something I'd wish on my worst enemy. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, drowning is a leading cause of death for children. In fact, more children between the ages of one and four die from drowning than any other cause of death except birth defects. The CDC says drowning can happen quickly and quietly, especially with unsupervised children. But that's, that's the kicker to this. It, it could have been prevented. We tend to make judgment when we hear these stories that somehow these were bad or neglectful parents, and that's simply not true. Drowning happens to the best of parents. Can we count our numbers while we float? Karen Lamoureux is the founder of Safety Before Skills Swim School. She's a huge advocate for swim safety, saying the most effective thing we as parents can do to keep our children safe around water is enroll them in early intervention swim lessons. We start at age four months old at Safety Before Skill. All the way to daddy. We want them to know what to do before they're crawling, before they can get to the water without mom or dad. She and many other swim safety experts are also warning parents about the dangers of using certain flotation devices. The floaties, the inflatable ones that go over the arms are the absolute worst thing. We want to avoid those devices because they put our children in a vertical position in the water. So they move like this through the pool. And that's also known as the drowning position. Devices like these make kids feel like they can swim independently when they're not wearing them, even though they can't. We've gotten kind of lazy over the years as parents. We want to put a flotation device on them so that we can have our hands free and enjoy our time at the pool. But what that does is it creates this really false sense of security. And the littlest ones don't understand that it's the flotation device doing the work. Brandon is now turning his loss into life lessons. His daughter is taking swim classes and he's making it his mission to educate other parents on the vital importance of water safety in hopes of potentially saving someone else's life. It only takes two seconds for kids to slip away. So why not just go ahead and enroll them in lessons and get them the skills they need so they're safe.